Last time I used ChatGPT to find out about hydrogen cars. I mentioned that ChatGPT gives a lot of wrong answers about the energy densities of hydrogen, lithium batteries and fossil fuels. This time, I'll test how ChatGPT answers when I ask the same question 20 times. The question is, compare the energy density of hydrogen and lithium ion batteries and fossil fuels. Out of 20 answers, 18 provided the energy density as evidence, and the energy densities of only one answer were correct. In all 20 answers, ChatGPT presents the energy density per weight as evidence, and states that the energy density of fossil fuels is the highest, but in fact, the energy density per weight of hydrogen is the highest. I checked that, ChatGPT accurately presents the energy density for fossil fuel, lithium battery and hydrogen, for at least one energy density per volume, or energy density per weight, and presents them in order of highest energy density. First of all, the conclusion is as follows. First, exact reason and conclusion, none, out of 20. Second, relatively accurate trends and conclusions, just one. In the 13th answer, the energy density per weight of hydrogen is high, but the energy density per volume is low without indicating the energy density value. Third, reasons are correct, but there is little correlation between reasons and conclusions, two answers. Both answers gave the energy density per weight relatively accurately. Although the energy density of liquid hydrogen in the fifth answer is wrong, by comparing the energy density per weight, the energy density of hydrogen was the highest. But the conclusion was that fossil fuels had the highest energy density without any indication of energy density per volume. Fourth, wrong answers, 16 answers, all answers except 5th, 13th, 15th, and 16th. At least one of the energy density values for Li-ion batteries, hydrogen, and fossil fuels is incorrectly indicated. Fifth, undeterminable one answer. Without presenting or defining values for energy density, fossil fuels have the highest energy density, second is Li-ion batteries, and hydrogen is last. The correct answer to the energy density of hydrogen, lithium batteries, and fossil fuels can be summarized in two pictures. For energy density per weight, hydrogen has the highest energy density, the second is fossil fuels, and the Li-ion battery is last. In terms of energy density per volume, fossil fuels have the highest energy density, followed by liquid hydrogen, and compressed gaseous hydrogen and lithium batteries are similar. I defined the correct range for the energy density per weight of fossil fuels as 10 to 15 kilowatt hours per kilogram, 0.1 to 1.0 kilowatt hours per kilogram for lithium batteries, and 20 to 40 kilowatt hours per kilogram for hydrogen. I took a wide range of correct answers for energy density because fossil fuels and hydrogen vary greatly depending on whether or not the tank weight is included. A summary of the 20 answers is presented in the following tables. I applied kilowatt hour per kilogram as the basic unit of energy density per weight in the table. When other units were used in the answers, the units were unified, and the units and values indicated in parentheses were specified. Black values are within the defined correct answer range, and red values are outside the correct range. Most of the answers are out of the range of correct answers. This table compares the first to tenth answers. Except for the fifth answer, all nine answers have incorrect values. In the fifth answer, the hydrogen gas energy density is correct. Still, the liquid hydrogen value is incorrect because the energy density per weight for gas and liquid hydrogen are the same. When energy density per weight was compared, hydrogen was the highest, followed by fossil fuel and lithium battery, whereas the conclusion was marked that fossil fuel was the highest. Looking at the 11th to 20th answers, except for the 13th and 15th, which did not present energy density values, only the 16th answer was within the correct answer range, and the energy density values of the other seven answers were wrong. In the 13th answer, although the exact energy density value was not presented, the trend of the energy density value of hydrogen per weight and volume was shown, and the size was compared. The 16th answer was the closest to the correct answer, but as you can see, despite the highest energy density of hydrogen, it was marked as having the highest energy density of fossil fuels. Here, as in the 20th answer, indicating the energy density of the lithium battery is 0.25 to 0.62 is also an incorrect answer, but it was not marked as a wrong answer in the correct range. 
When the energy density value of the lithium battery is 0.25 to 0.62, it is considered that the kilowatt hour per liter unit is applied. Surprisingly, there was not one answer out of 20 that accurately presented each energy density value as a basis for comparing energy density and compared the results of which one was higher. Correct answer rate is 0%. Only three answers with correct evidence were relatively close to the right answer, but either they did not provide evidence or the conclusions differed from the evidence. This question was not difficult for artificial intelligence, since energy density values are clearly presented in many technical documents. It was an easy matter to define the energy density you want to compare and compare the exact value considering the units for it. Nonetheless, none of the answers match both the evidence and the conclusion. Upon closer inspection, ChatGPT seems to have a long way to go in the professional field. It looks like it needs improvement. All answers are on the next pages.